going on, guys? Just woke up from a nap. Had to take Jessica to the uh, to the airport this morning. I, uh, I came home and took a little nap, and uh, I just woke up. I went in. I was getting kind of hungry, so I came into the kitchen, and um, to my surprise, I have this little um, honey to do list. If you guys could see it. Really? A honey to-do list? Like, I need to do anything. So, I came over here, and as we've been telling you guys, you know, we've been on a diet for a couple for a couple of days now, and we ended up going on a binge last night and ordering Jet's Pizza, which was pretty fantastic. So, there was a couple pieces left, and so I decided, hey, why not? Nobody's here, so I uh, had a few pieces. There's only one left. Then I got hungry, and I looked in the fridge to get a water, and I seen this orange sugary goodness right there. So I decided, hey, why not? Nobody, Nobody's here. So I decided to have some. She actually thinks that I am going to take out the garbage. Um run the vacuum um maybe but i don't know how to run the vacuum so uh that's out i can take the garbage out though uh anyways holy cow look at tinkerbell right here hey tank say hi um she's trying to eat me right now because she's hungry but today i think i'm just gonna relax and uh play a little bit of madden and um, we'll see. Tomorrow I leave for a trip. So I'll be uh, in Augusta, Georgia for 32 hours. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, I also looked at our uh, our video or our uh, YouTube videos last night and this morning. And um, they're getting a lot of good views. So uh, don't forget to uh, look at all the vid videos if you haven't yet. And um, we will definitely uh, talk to you later. See ya. You don't have What diet? I don't know what diet you're talking about. Another day, another hotel in LA tonight just got in and I'm so tired um, it's probably gonna be a short night I had hoped to get the vlog posted tonight but um, instead I think I'm gonna call Brandon and uh, talk to him real quick and uh, get some sleep super long day delayed and I'm ready for sleepy sleep time. Good morning from LA. So it's kind of a sad morning this morning. Um, it was probably about 3.30 here and 6.30 back at home. And I got a phone call from Brandon. Brandon's grandfather passed away last night. So you never like getting those phone calls when you're far away. <clears throat> so there isn't much because it's the weekend. Nothing can really be done this weekend. So um, he went ahead and went on his trip. Thankfully, he'll have all day in Augusta tomorrow to kind of process it all. And I'm heading home tonight from my trip, and I start another trip tomorrow morning, but I'll be back Monday. And then um, Brandon's parents are coming in probably Monday or Tuesday kind of a sad morning you never like to wake up like that like i said especially when you're on a trip and you're far away in other sad news um, brandon and i would just like to pass along um our condolences for the um, malaysia flight lost contact with air traffic control i just read this morning that according to the military it appears as though they crashed so there were oh, what was it? It was something like 200. Well, I don't want to 
there were 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board. So our condolences go out to um, their family and friends and everybody in the airline industry because we're kind of like our own little family. So when something like that happens, it kind of hits close to home. And they were on a 777, which is what I flew all day yesterday. So not a good morning. So hopefully the day gets better and I can get home quick and clean the house and go on my trip again tomorrow morning. Just hanging out here in Augusta, Georgia for the day. Um, there's not really much to do around here, so the crew and I are, uh, uh, we're going to go downstairs about in about an hour or so. This is that there's a river down the street here, and um, there's like a graveyard or something like that. So, see what kind of trouble we can get into. At the amphitheater, and we came upon these people doing the catwalk walk. So, and here it is. Okay, so here's the story. So, I was kind of feeling a little vengeful this, a little bit ago. So I got back from my trip and I was not happy because I got in the car and there was no gas in the car. And I had to stop and get gas, which is fine. But I go on another trip again tomorrow morning. So I didn't have much time home. So I was kind of not very happy. And then because of everything that happened this morning and the in-laws coming into town, we weren't really sure if they were coming in on Monday or if they were coming in on Tuesday. So I had to clean the house because I get home on Monday. So my little time that I was home, I was going to be cleaning. So I text messaged Brandon and asked him what he wanted me to do with all of the bottles that need to be returned. For those of you that don't live in Michigan, we return our bottles because we get 10 cents a can or 10 cents a bottle. So you keep them, and then you take them all back, and you get money back, which is fine. Except our spare bedroom was looking like an episode of Hoarders because of all the bottles that we had. So he told me to put them in our bedroom because we needed the money. So I was not happy with that response because I wanted them out of here now. So... I did what every good wife would do in an angry tizzy, and I'll show you where I put them. <laughs> I stacked all of the bottles in his shower. <laughs> it was all fine and great, and I thought it was really funny until he called me and apologized for not understanding why I was so stressed out about cleaning and having to get up in the morning. So now I feel bad. And now his shower looks like an episode of Hoarders, but it was really funny at the time. <laughs> I still kind of think it's funny. I'm like, oh, can you see them all? <laughs> Brandon's obsessed. He takes like five showers a day. So I figured if his parents ended up coming in on Tuesday, he'd come home to take a shower and all the bottles <laughs> I am officially slam happy. I'm tired. Daylight savings is tonight, and I'm freaked out that my alarm's not going to go off. So I got to go to bed because I'm only going to get like four hours of sleep. And I have to go back to L.A. and then back to Atlanta. <sighs> it's going to be a long day. Whoever said this job was glamorous never spent a day in my heels. So hopefully Brandon finds something fun to entertain you all with in Augusta tomorrow. I don't know. There was a rumor about them going and walking through cemeteries or something. I don't even know. At any rate, good night. You will not hear from me tomorrow because I will be sleeping as soon as I get to the hotel. So on that note, I'm going to bed. Good night. Hola, sister and brother-in-law. It's 45 degrees in Lake Warren, Michigan, so you know what that means. Spring's coming, spring's coming, woo-hoo. My center's open, my center's open, not wearing a coat, not wearing a coat.
Not even wearing boots. Got my tennies. Got my tennies. What what? What what? Wearing sunglasses. Wearing sunglasses. Double glassing. Double glassing. Saw a family going on a family bike ride today. Although the snow is above the little girl's head, they managed to get that tricycle out. Oh yeah. Family bike ride. It's 45 degrees. I saw people around campus walking in shorts and flip-flops today. Spring's coming. Spring's coming. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> JK, not really. <laughs> Hope you guys have a nice day. I wonder if you guys are flying around. Around town. Around the country. It's Bachelor Monday. Juan Pablo and Camila. Camila. Hope you guys have a nice day. I love you both so much. You guys, seriously? I don't think I've seen the sun in Michigan since, um, like, September. So this is super exciting, and it's 46 degrees right now, which is even more exciting. So I get to go get Brandon in the sunlight and warmth. So I'm going to turn the radio up and jam out. Not wearing a coat because why would I? It's 46 degrees out. It's a heat wave. So uh, going to get yeah, the hubby. This song makes me so happy. It makes me want to dance every time I hear it. And it's on our boarding music now. And yes, I dance during boarding. I'm so excited. Brandon is home. He texted me. He just landed. Ah! This makes me so happy! We have a hot date with Juan Pablo this evening. And then watching our favorite YouTube couple, Katie and Colin. So we've been watching them separately since we've been on trips and we can't wait to get home to catch up with them each other so we've been watching them separately so I will be excited to see their update on their journey to baby I've been waiting on Twitter all day to see if they posted an update and they did if you want to check out their page I will post a link below I see mommy didn't do that no I took a nap and didn't make the bed seriously dude what Really? What? Now how am I supposed to take a shower? Oh, take the bottles back. <laughs> Tinkerbell is obsessed with Doritos. Oh look, she's successfully getting in right now. Yeah, it looks like it usually does, bro. Uh, hey, hey, Tink! Hey, Tink, what do you got? Well, you see me rocking my sombrero, you see my dress in the back. Pretty much, I'm in Chicago. Aww, did mommy just ruin it? Determined. <laughs> Nacho mama, nacho cheese. I'm gonna get a nacho. Try out. The BJ or the JS? Trivia. The beach. Beach. Oh, the beach. Oh, the beach. Oh, the beach. Like a boss. Do it. <laughs> like a boss. Oh wow, that's a face. Mm. What it do, boo? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I probably look like a mess, but that's okay. Hey, y'all remember how it was super warm the other day and sunny? And I was doing the happy dance. Not this morning. This weather is bullcrap. And I'm over it. 
over. Okay.